Welcome to Ace MTG and my second draft of Outlaws at Thunder Junction. I'm here once again with Hand of Justice, who helped me walk through that last one, got us to that seven wins. His picks were absolutely crucial, so can't wait to do the second one. Super excited. Thanks again, Ace, for inviting me back. And I absolutely love these collab drafts. So yeah, can't wait to get into a new pack here. Yeah, being able to pick your brain with the picks, some of the plays, you had a more aggressive slant. I mean, just bouncing off of each other. Definitely, I think you got us a few extra wins there with a few of the picks and a few <laughs> of the plays. So that was awesome. So I've got to now draft once in person once on arena this will be my second one on arena but i've also got to watch a couple drafts have you seen from anything that you've been watching or you playing that you kind of have a preference so far with uh, uh outlaws you know what i will say um is uh i think that there's a lot of benefit to trying to stay open a little bit in the sense that you know i've seen a lot of very very powerful um, like three or even four color decks. Um, a lot of them have been base green, but since the yeah. uh, the desert lands are so plentiful, and especially there's so many fixing like that are non-color fixing, such as Silver Deputy, it's actually pretty easy to be able to build a pretty functional three color deck, even without green. And the payoffs are so huge because some of the, um, you know, the the gold cards are just amazing. I mean, you've got you know, Laughing Jasper Flint, you've got Rakdos the Muscle, you have, I mean, there's just, there's so many that are just yeah. incredible bombs. And I think that, you know, to cut yourself off to that, it really is kind of shooting yourself in the foot. So the, the more open you can be, I think the more you can get rewarded. Yeah, so, I mean, those are kind of my few things is one, you're going to end up with a deck that you're going to have to cut cards. There's so many good ones. You don't have a like a limit, like, oh no, am I gonna be able to actually make a deck? Two, like you said, I think a three color deck is so easy to do in this one. Not just a third color as a splash, but a true just three colors. And then yeah. really taking those, uh, you know, um, I guess crime lands, like the if there's no other card that you really care about, take the crime land, it might leave you later on. Pack three, you might open that bomb, things like that. And there are so many bombs, like you're saying, so many multicolor. So those are the couple just, I mean, two drafts I've been in and I've just seen, boy, these are some powerful ones. And I guess the yeah. last thing I'll mention is it does seem to be a slightly slower format than the last. Mm -hmm. Now again, maybe I'm off only seeing a couple, but it does seem like they're going a few extra turns, pretty big battlefields coming out there as well. Yeah, I would say that I think that like just the power level of the set is just absolutely out of control. Yeah. And so because of that, I think that, you know, unconditional removal is like really, really highly premium uh, card to be taken. And so, you know, taking incredible removal and incredible bombs and then like the mana to get them to work is sort of the name of the game. You know, there's a lot of filler cards that I think just aren't as important, you know, and I think that there are some like really good signpost cards you know, for instance, I think like Free Strider, like the, the green creature that's like a 3-3 three, three or 5-5 five, five is absolutely amazing. And, you know, but it's considered like sort of a normal level card as opposed to a bomb. Yeah. But you still you still want to like try to get those in your deck well, as well. We're saying about that removal, I did read on Friday as I was kind of waiting for my paper draft, things like that. It said this set has 45 removal spells in it, the most of any set. Uh, just as reference, Murders had a total of 24, and then the wow. set before that had 22. So we're talking about like twice the amount of removal in this one. And there's so, so much removal that's multicolor as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, hover over. So we got a Kellen joins up. I mean, I don't think that's where we're going to be. <laughs> no, I'm looking at Commandeer as like a control magic for an extra mana. Um, where you get to counter something and then control a creature. That's one potential option that could be really powerful. Or actually, I guess that's seven, so it's a bit it's more expensive. seven, yeah. I think the Rictus Robber is actually the, the top pick here. I agree. Um, Rictus Robber is just, like, so much value that I think that, like, also being monocolor is pretty important. And let's see, I guess the comm Commandeer is also monocolor, but it's a bit more late game. Trash so the Town like did impress me in our last game, how versatile that was. I don't yeah. love taking a two color card right away. And I don't even think it's the strongest in the world anyway. No, um, I think this is Rickus Robert by a mile. I don't think anything else is even particular. Yeah, close. I think so too. I mean, I, I do like the ruckus. Um, I do like Holy Cow, but again, these are, I mean, like six, They're seven, mid-level cards. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not that For this sure. is necessarily one you want as your top pick, but yeah. um, 
So right now I'm looking at shoot the sheriff, shoot the stain sheriff. the color. I yeah. do love the bandit. <laughs> I think there's a lot more to talk about in this pack. For instance, like you've got Cactus Sure Shot, which is a really good signpost for like Gruel. Yes. Um, now I, I wouldn't take it here because we have the Rictus Robber, but I think it's a very powerful card that can set up for a great deck. Um, I think it's, if, you wanna... if you have this in a Gruel deck, you're so good because oh, yeah. you need that trample to get through. It gets rid of that big clogged up battlefield. Totally. And like Hard Bristle Bandit is also like probably one of the best green commons in the set. Just being able to like yes. mana ramp and mana fix. And then the other card that I'm looking at is Hypothesis, which is a really powerful late game card. But I think here it's Shoot the Sheriff just because it stays on color and it's incredibly powerful. And again, the late game pick, I, I like the Lone Shark if I was going into blue. I find blue to be maybe the weakest, but... Yeah. I mean, in my paper draft, blue just kept coming. I didn't take it, but I was like, man, somebody's going to have a good blue deck. Yeah. Uh, all right. Here I'm kind of looking at... Okay, oh, I'll go, go with you. I was going to say, <laughs> this card, I did draft this in my paper one, and this yeah. blew me away. I mean, I love the trample. I mean, it was so often just a three-mana card or less, things like that. I mean, oh, that's great. so, so I, I was a fan. I also had uh, Skew the Critics, and so yeah. this was a nice little removal as well. That's kind of the card I was looking at. Um, however, to be fair, I have not played with Hellspur Burton, so I don't know how good it is. And I think especially in Red Black specifically, it's probably even better. It was so, better if you're going to go Rakdos just because basically everything was. But yeah, I mean, I, this you don't see as often. I think this is probably just the better card. I think it's the better card, but I'd be happy with either one. And I think yeah. that Hellspur Burton you know, there's an argument for taking it here, certainly. Yeah. Uh, let's go with the removal, I think. Okay. Only yeah. problem with that is if we don't have a... Or, ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, so here there's some really great... First of all, Spinewood yeah. Armadillo is, like, one of the best cards. Yeah. Uh, one of the best uncommons in the set. I think, like, a 7-7 seven, seven Reach Ward 3 that also helps you early game is just completely absurd. So hard to kill. And then, I mean, you've got to be able to take care of their flyers if they have it. It yeah. could be some life gang, sneak you out of nowhere, get a land if you, yeah, just so many things this does. I think if, if that wasn't here, I might look at like Prickly Pear or Mystical Tether, but I think that it's like head and shoulders above the other cards. Um, I agree. Just because it's so proactive and so hard to deal with. Obviously, if this is late in the draft, we know we're Rakdos, this is where we're going. Um, yeah. I do like the Tether, but I just think this is stronger. So if we're going to look at a third color or maybe just decide where yeah. we're going to go, I would prefer to go there. I think yeah, I feel the same way. I think Tether is really strong also, yeah. obviously, but um, I'm happy with the Armadillo and just kind of see what goes. So this is an interesting pack because we're not really seeing much in our color. I mean, I think Ferocification can be good. Um, like Gigapede is okay, but it's kind of a later pick. Bristle Pack Sentry is decent for like an early blocker. Yeah, but if I'm think going green, like, I do like these early, especially if I'm going Gruel. Yeah, I, th I think what I'd say here, like Emergent Haunting, I think is the best card in the pack. Um, but that doesn't mean that we should take it here necessarily. I think it's the best. So, I'm just not the big fan of blue. Here's the spot where I take the desert to see what happens late. Yeah, I actually kind of agree with that. I think that, you know, we could spec on like Emergent Haunting here and it'd be fine taking the Bristle pack, but the land is probably the best pick. And here, I just want to jump on that Free Strider Commando. I do as well. I mean, it's, it's, it's so, so hard powerful. for me not to go green. It's just... Well, I think that green is the best color, like, in the in the yeah. set. I think by a fair amount also. Like, I don't think it's particularly close. I mean, obviously, there's good mana fixing if I'm going three colors. Yeah. And like, there's I think just so right many... Here. There's so many monocolor green bombs that are just mm -hmm. completely ridiculous that just being in that color just is so rewarding. Yeah. So yeah, here, like, we hope one of the lands comes back. It probably doesn't, but oh well. So I think here what I'm looking at, so Spinewood Paladin is a really good four or five drop. Um, however, we might, you know, try to take the two drop here if we think we need early game. So it's kind of between the Varmint and the Paladin for me. But I think that Paladin is enough better that I would just take Paladin here. I'm leaning more Paladin. The other thing is, if I was like, I'm thinking I'm going Gagari. I do like the Buzzard. I mean, it gives yep. you a, something to do turn two. But I mean, that's true. We do have to worry about having too many, right? You don't want too many fives and six, but I'm happy with taking at least my first one here. Yeah. And, and I, I will absolutely say that love this. 
among the among the fives and fours or the fours and fives paladin is one of the best you know just having trample gaining the life it yeah. does everything you want it being to able do. to have the plot too in case you have nothing else to do so yeah also checks all the boxes yeah and i agree here taking the grizzly there's just not much here for i us. i like a four two early on if they don't have a creature it trades up well as far as a blocker that yeah. actual saddle ability getting that extra damage in actually becomes relevant yeah, I think it's it's decently replaceable, but I'm certainly happy taking it like fifth or sixth. I think I'm just going to rare draft right here. Um, I mean, there's I, w I what feel would like, you go with? You like this I better? Guess, well, I think it's fine. I, I kind of think that the, the commandeer potentially could be a better option as a stronger card. So I will um, agree here with you that it is a stronger card for an actual draft. I'm just going to yeah. say I don't think I'm going blue and we might pay for this later i mean if we I open use this outside ball, of standards you're be sad <laughs> i will be sad. oh my gosh okay yeah we're taking cactus folks uh sure shot and yeah super happy and i am looking to go into gruel totally i mean seeing this this late is absolutely absurd that i mean is, again I think, doesn't mean green's open or red's open it just means gruel's open well i think that like cactus sure shot is like a second to third pick i think that card yeah, is that i yeah. agree yeah very good um and this is I actually would take the bluffs here. Just keep ourselves kind of open. I think that like the the pulverizer is super replaceable. The hound is super replaceable. I agree. I, I don't love this as a five drop. I don't really want it. I like the bluffs. I like to have again. I, we already have one source of white, so it yeah. makes it so easy for. Oh my, yeah. I'll do another. And just too. do it again. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. You know, the, the Pulverizer is probably best and is it because it, it rewards playing two spells in a turn. So it's not really where we want to be. Exactly. And, here and it's a two drop, so I'm just going to take it personally. I don't well, love I, this as a six drop. I actually disagree with you. I think it's okay. a decent six drop. But I suppose we actually have a fair amount already. So, yeah, it would have been fine taking the Key Keeper. Okay. So I've heard that Smuggler's Surprise is supposed to be a pretty good rare. I just feel like it's a little clunky. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not reading it right. But I just want to take savage smash here, i want to take think. savage smash as well that's the one that sticks out to me i hope this tables if we still are looking to splash black yeah. like um, the other card that we, we could consider here like if we wanted to try to go back into black would be like unfortunate accident is very powerful but i think with the sure shot that late we really should be going into gruel yeah i i agree i'm, I'm leaning a little bit more gruel right now so this Let's card take a look at the smuggler surprise just yeah because it just it does an interesting thing like it can help like I guess it can make your your creatures uh, indestructible. You can, you know, put something from your your graveyard into your hand and then onto the battlefield. So it's powerful, but it's kind of late. Yeah, that's. So, I mean, five, that's it just seems eight like mana a little, to be able to do all that, and it's. Yeah, it's kind of asking a lot, I think. And here, I think I probably like the Mine Raider is definitely. It's better in like Rakdos, for instance. Hundred percent. So I think I probably just take the uh, the two drop here. It's not particularly exciting, but I just the dead I do list. The other possibility yeah. consideration would be Thornado, um, which is a decent removal spell and it can also cycle if you don't need it. But this I think is actually a tough one. I mean, this is really weak as far as what we're taking. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if I knew I was going to splash white, which we have basically no white cards. I would take the one three life linker, but take up the shield is a good is a, is a good trick, and we could potentially splash for it if we wanted to. I think I just take the duelist here. It's probably the safest pick. I think so. I do love this with the trample ability, but we just if we go gruel, we're not going to have the outlaws. Oh, that's splashable. Oh yeah, um, this is actually close. So I think yeah. that, that is an incredibly powerful card. The, the the bristle bandit is really good too. Now that being said, the steed. All we need to do is just saddle it and have it attack, and we can start making angels, and that just seems like really out of <laughs> out of hand. So I think that, yeah, it's kind of like, do you want to dream big here or try to play it safe? But we already have the Creosite Heath and the, the Bluff, so I think we're absolutely in for Seraphic Steed. Yeah, I think so too. I think it just has too big of an upside, and my thing is always, you don't always get to play with the rares. Let's test them out, see how oh. well they play. Totally, so. and I think... That one just represents so much value that I think we can't pass it. Yeah, and again, I'm not as big on this now because again, outlaws are not so big in the colors we're running. Here, um, let's see, what's the uh, the rare or fierce retribution? Uh, I kind of like commando here because it's just so good. <laughs> I, I might be a little bit 
um, biased here, but I think that Free Strider Commando is the pick. The other thing we could consider is the Mirage Mesa. Although we already have three different fixers. We have three for fixers, and we're still only on pack two. So I do agree. I think, hmm, actually, I don't know. I'm Two drops is what my concern is now. I'm going to disagree with you here. I think Commando is just so powerful that I think it's worth taking. Either that or the Prickly Pear. I guess Prickly Pear is like, that would have been the other card. Yeah. Um, and I guess, you know, you could say taking the Prickly Pear might have been better since it gives us two pieces. This is the another prickly. great card to splash. Oh, yeah. Lassoed by the law, 100%. I don't think it's any question on that one. Yeah, and I think that it would be perfectly reasonable for the last pick to take Prickly Pear over Free Strider. But I've just found that like five fives are just so hard to deal with this in, in this format. Like I agree. Line... Prickly pear though is not is often a card I feel like I would cut. Yes, oh, you get a two two and a one and you get the one one. It could go in the deck for sure, but yeah. when you're talking gruel, if something's sitting there as a two two, it ends up not doing all that much. And it oh. might be that Okay, yeah, Journey to Nowhere is amazing. Yeah, we gotta um, take that. Oh, I I have been blown away with the but the I think I think it's right here. We need the removal. Yeah. You know, I think we could use a couple more pieces of removal, so I definitely would take it here. But if if not, I think the prickly pair is perfectly good card to pick up. And we should be careful like how many white cards we're splashing <laughs> for becoming more of a Naya deck. But well, I mean, right now I'm looking at my red though. And True. we could even to me right now, it. red is almost more of the splash. And that entirely could be. And for that reason, actually, let's grab Summoner. Summoner's completely out of, out of control. Yeah. So this one, I actually had three in my draft. Oh, my Lord. Um, so I would this play is a this great turn combo. three, and I constantly just had uh, the next drop, either a three drop or a four drop that had yeah. the four power. And, I mean, I was pumping out dinos like a madman. <laughs> I think that Scalestorm Summoner is actually, like, one of the mythic uncommons in this set. Yeah. Like, in, in the sense that it's it's that good. Um, let's take the, uh, the 2-2, the Discerning Peddler here. Because I think, yeah, like you said, we don't know if we're Gruul or if we're Selesnya or if we're Naya. Yeah. And I think here, let's, let's, um, I guess we want to decide if we want, like, Holy Cow or Voracious Varmint. I think I probably want the 2-2, honestly. Yeah, the 2 just mana, because, just to have a 2-drop. Yeah. Because I think, again, like, we don't know if we're... Here, I grabbed the 2-2 two, two here. 2-2, two, 2-2. Two, two, two. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll we take this. It. Yeah. Yep. I mean, again, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going red, but even so, I like this better. I'm well, and I think there's a couple There's a couple of cards. Like, we've got Savage Smash. We have the Sure Shot. I guess that's... You know, again, I'm, I'm looking right now more of a splash, though, of red. There's nothing that, like, blows me out of... The, I mean, I guess there's a few. I don't mm. know. I mean, like, we've got the Scale Storm Summoner. We have Screwed here, the Critics. I think that... I actually think that white is more of a splash at this point. Again, I'm not going to play this anyway, so I'm rare drafting. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh. And yeah, right down fits, fits right in. Right down's not bad. That. Okay. <laughs> I There's do, a I do love Miriam here, but... I think Hellspur Posse Boss is too much value. We got to... I think that. so, too. Like, because we get three pieces of plastic, and then it also gives all of our other creatures haste, which is completely absurd. Yeah, the only thing I hate, right, is the double red. It now turns that more into white being the splash. Well, but I think white was the splash to begin with. It so. was originally. <laughs> I just started. <laughs> I guess we were in, in not exactly agreement there on what was the splash. <laughs> well, it started looking like, for me, white was getting a little stronger, but. Perhaps. We've now, but I we've think, now swayed it back. Yeah, I think that. Um, well, with like, the, we, the summoner and that, I mean, that, that makes the shift. I would take, take Tether here for sure. Tether's super powerful. Yeah, I agree. There's nothing else that even interests me. Yeah, I mean, like, the next best card for us is probably, like, Ariat's Lullaby. You know, I guess they're... I have no idea if, if Pixie would be good for us, but Tether by a mile, I think. Yeah, yeah 100%. But so the only issue here now is right. White is, oh my goodness. Oh God. Okay, let's do it. I mean, like the card is absolutely busted, and like we're already, <laughs> we're already going. We beat for it. it last time. We have no splash for blue in any way, though. Not not yet. So it is worth noting. There's a congregation griff, which is quite good. That's what um, I think I'm going with. 
I disagree. I think we should try to make Thief of Crowns happen. That card is completely busted. We can't splash a fourth color. Not yet. Oh, see, I'm gonna, I, I'm, I, I got the mouse and I'm taking over. I'm saying this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm uh, you not can, doing you can, it. Yeah, you can make the executive decision. Pack but three I think on this a, when I don't have any blue and I'm already not sure which I'm going with more of a white or a red. Uh, see, I think, you know, you got to live fast and die hard. And <laughs> Well, we'll keep seeing. what. So that would so, force us to take this right now. Yeah, I think Mirage Mesa, I mean, Naturalist is really good too, and so is Collective Defiance. But I think because now we're starting to really go with delve into Naya, I think the Mesa is actually probably the most important card out of this pack for us. So this card, absolutely, I had this one as well on my draft uh, in and paper. You could take it if you could absolutely take it was that nuts. also. I mean, we can take that if you want and just like cut the white a little bit. I think that's fine. Yeah, I too. think I'm it's going just, there. It's a really powerful card. Um, and we can still splash like three or four white cards and have it be okay. Cactarantula here is amazing. Yeah, 100%. Man, I we think if I was deserts, we man, if I could get one or two more deserts, that'll be huge. If I was uh, <laughs> adding the blue, I'd take the Wrangler, the Damned here, because that card is also a crazy value. I, I would like to see your mana base. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I love too. this as a two yeah, drop. Bur Burufine, I think, is one of the other mythic uncommons yeah, in this. Yeah, absolutely I love that. I think it's one of like the strongest cards, better than some rares. Yeah, so that's an absolute slam for me. Totally agree. Um, um, this is unfortunate. So this is, I think if we actually take the gold pan here. We spec on that if we can't yeah, we agree. need the mana fixing. Uh, and hope I don't have to play it, but we'll take. We'll Because uh, we'll we're at 24 playables right now. Yeah, I think our deck is going to be absurd, even if we don't go with like the Oko. But that would have been so much fun. <laughs> so, so the weakest part of our deck Right, not as many two drops as I would normally love, but not bad, especially if I get rid of the white. Yeah, I think I think we, we probably make white in the splash at the moment. Oh, geez. Although, no, I think Electro Dominance here is probably the pick. That card is just absurd. Just another, yeah, it's another two for one instant. Um, the other, like, it's funny here because... See, like, here again is another situation where I would disagree for the deck we're running. Oh, I, I think that we're I think we're hard gruel at the moment and then splashing white, but I could see... I think the here, other think one was a, a far superior one. That's just very expensive. That's two damage, and then all we get is a two-mana spell. That's fair. I could see... Yeah, I see your point there. I think we take the pylons here to fix our mana. Yeah, um, yeah Miriam is quite good also. That is that is a good point. Um, um, I won't play any of these, so I'm taking the rare. Yeah, totally fine. I like Quilled Charger here. Actually, let's get the Gardener, because the Gardener fixes our mana. That is true. And I think, considering how goofy our mana is, it's worth considering. <laughs> yeah, um, we can't win anyway, or just start... Uh, I think I take the, the Charger here. I think the Charger... I mean, like, Lullaby is fine, but we have a lot of removal now. I think the real answer is we probably don't play either one. Yeah, we got some cuts to make here. Yeah. Because the thing is, you could decide to just completely cut white. They do and like think, Naya best. Yeah, I think we're going to... I think the white is good enough, like, with the journey to nowhere, the mystical tether, and, like, the lasso from the law. Like, we should at least run those three cards. Interesting what they suggest we get rid of. Um, so I think like for our white splash, we, we want to have lassoed by the law, mystical tether, um, journey to nowhere. And then I think we can cut the, take up the shield, the Sterling key keeper. So you think take and, up the shield goes and the keeper, keeper goes, and then we just sort of run. Oh, I suppose we could probably run the congregation griff too. That's really good. Which one? The congregation griff. The the one four flying lifelink thing. Oh yeah, I'm 100 percent running that. <laughs> yeah. So let's lay out the deck here if we can. Um, and then I think let's put Dead Eye Duelist in for now, just since it is a two drop, and then you know maybe cut it later. Uh, I'll see that. That to me is a cut at the moment. 
Okay, I guess I just I didn't even look at what we've got for early drops yet. So um, this is late game. I mean, we're talking this is yeah. earliest four drop. Yep, I could see that. Which I actually, so yeah. the reason I don't love it. I think it's really good though. It's a two for one. It's an instant speed removal. I think we should play it. I will remove that. Yeah, let's cut the pulverizer. I think we can cut the. Um, how many two drops have we got right now? So right now one. Six, two, like. three, four, five, technically, because, I mean, this is removal. Well, I considered a two drop for since we could use it as a two drop. Could, but I just I know I'm not going to remove anything at the two drop spot. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I disagree with you there. Um, OK, so to see what got, my removal is. We've got Skewer the Critics, Mystical Tether, Savage Smash. Electro dominance, lasted by the law. We've got some great removal. And savage smash six. Yeah, you've also got savage yeah. smash in the three drop. Okay, so that's decent. I'm happy at least with that area. I need a one card cut. Um, let's. I think that I could probably cut here. I'd probably cut the quill charger honestly and keep our two drops. Even though I don't love the Dead I Do list, I think it's more important to just like not die early. Otherwise, we could cut the Drover Grizzly. That'd be another card. The reason I don't want to is because of my steed. I don't have oh, that many four power things. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying there. Um, and we also well, need four power for this as well. That's true for the Scale Storm Summon. Yeah. That's a good point. To me, if I'm cutting, I'm cutting the, my one three. Can we look at the rest of our pool? Because there's another card there that I wanted to look at. Um, let's, yeah, I want to see the rest of the cards. So the other things that we have, um, uh, we didn't, I guess we're, we're probably not considering playing ride down, but that is another piece of removal. It's sort of to. blocking creature creatures that were blocked by that creature's combat making. Trample. It's not amazing, but it's, it's something. Um, it is something. The, other, the other consideration is gold pan. If we want more fixing, I don't think we need it. I don't think we need it. And then Ankle Biter, I actually do kind of like. I like Ankle Biter way better than the Duelist. Yeah, let's cut Duelist for Ankle Biter for sure. Because I think Ankle Biter does have a place in this deck. Since we are three colors. Um, and now, what would you cut now, actually? Well, I mean, the more I'm looking at this, I don't have much. Right, one, two. Well, here's the thing. Like, three. you realize you can, you can use more than one creature to saddle. Yeah, that's true. So you could tap two creatures to saddle it. And like the free striders are potentially five fives. Yeah. So I think we absolutely do keep this. It doesn't do the system. curve I normally <laughs> like though with it, but. I guess if we think our mana is good enough, we could potentially cut the Oasis Gardener here. Let's take a look at our mana. So as far as white sources, we already have four, five, we have... six. So oh, I don't. <clears throat> I think we can cut one of those planes. I don't think we need to have necessarily two planes. Cool. Then at green, well, we're sitting at eight. Yeah, I'd rather be. And let's see. What do we well, have? Well, I mean, we're white? we're eight, eight red, eight green, and six white. And six white currently. Mm -hmm. And if you look at most of our white drops, though, we're talking two, three, two, yeah. three. Okay, I, I, I could see the, the argument for having two planes, I suppose. Um, I think, actually, we probably do want the Gardener here because our mana is a bit more... Even though it looks like it's really good, Like it, the Oasis Gardener also powers us out to fives and sixes faster, which mm -hmm. I like. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I wanted to keep that. It just gives us that extra source. So what would you cut here, I guess? <sighs> I'd probably cut the Quilled Charger, honestly. Um, I know, like, I don't like, I don't love it, but I think that it's, even though it does help Scaled Summoner and it helps Seraphic Steed, um, I think, you know, of our, actually, I suppose I'd probably cut maybe the Cactor, well, let's see, Cactorantula, how many deserts do we have? We have four. Okay, so Cactorantula is actually pretty good. Yeah, to me, there's no chance I'm, I'm getting rid of that. Okay. I, I need a couple top end. Yeah. Um, and and the fact that I have our, our Grizzly that could give Trample as well. 
Yeah, I guess for me, it's between like the Quill Charger, the Drover Grizzly, and the Gardener. But I think the Gardener does have a place in this deck because it powers us out to fives and sixes. So I think like for me, I think I'd cut either Grizzly or Quill Charger. Uh, actually, how many removal spells do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That feels good. I don't want to cut any. Yeah, no, of those. I'm not cutting any removal. So to me, let's hear your argument. I'm the peddler, peddler or the biter. I'm actually getting rid of a, a lower drop again. I don't want to get rid of a four drop when I only have two. Yeah, for me, I, I always feel like I although don't want these to are kind of like four drops. They absolutely are. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't want to die to early pressure. That's probably why I wouldn't cut Peddler. But I mean, it is your... You can make the final... Yeah, my decision. only... So, early game removal. We have Journey to Nowhere. I guess Skewer the Critics and Tether both happen on three. I just was not a huge fan of this card. No, I'm thinking of it more as like a 2-2 body that helps us not die. Oh, yeah. And so you do hate only having in your first... Two turns, five. four options, and even five is if I get rid of one, I, I don't get rid of one. Technically six, since we have Journey to Nowhere, if we have to use it. Yeah. So I'm okay with the number of two drops we have. I'm not in love with it, but yeah. I would cut either a three or a four. To me, there's just no way I could cut any of those threes. So if I had to, okay. it's going to have to be the Quill then. Let's, let's cut Quill Charger. I think that's probably the weakest card. I mean, in terms of what we need for our deck. So I feel happy with this. Yeah, the only problem is it's one of our ways of getting trampled through, but... I think we've got enough other stuff to get it there, though. All right, we'll see. Up. This is going to be our deck. Quite, quite the arguments on this one. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yeah. This is definitely a, a very interesting yeah, two-headed giant where <laughs> the two heads are <laughs> disagreeing quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I, I, I think... We're literally arguing about a couple cards here or there throughout the picks. For sure, I mean, for I don't sure. think the deck is all that much different, but... No, no. I think that, yeah, one minor change I would have tried for the Oko, but <laughs> that's probably maybe a little bit greedy. Yeah, I just did not see the fixing there. <laughs> well, it wasn't there yet, but I... Well, uh, did you see the cards that kept coming? I mean, we had, like, a couple deserts we could have gotten into. It wasn't <laughs> great. I Like, I definitely was, like, you know, the dream. Oh, uh, we didn't have a work. desert in our color, did we? We did not. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our first game.